and we are live slash recorded. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite truck driver, ex truck driver in the world. It's Bitcoin Ben with the one and only Crypto World CEO and the future known in history books as the first man to ever launch a crypto world brick and mortar out into society to revolutionize the world j wade crypto what's going on brother what's going on i'd rather be the first one to like walk mars but i'll take i'll take the crypto world so that that'll be good for me yeah i'm not walking anywhere <laughs> anyone who's ever met me i'm a big guy i don't like to walk gravity <laughs> is my enemy I hear you. I hear you. My wife's the, my wife's bugging me about uh, working out and running every day. I said, "Man, that sounds terrible." Yeah. So, uh, let's we'll see what happens. Honey, you know God. God only intended us to run when we were chased. Yes. Now that now that we're done being chased, sorry. Exactly. <laughs> Don't need to run. So, welcome everyone to the crypto world weekend report we still don't know exactly what we call this show yet but it will evolve yes absolutely i think it's the crypto world weekly recap or, or something to that matter okay all we know is it's about cryptos and it's about education expansion and ed mostly educating the public on how to get involved in cryptos and do it safely and do it secure securely so without hesitation uh jeff just oh, i'm sorry j wade crypto I that's right get the name right come on I don't Show get your name wrong, Bitcoin Ben. <laughs> exactly. Put some respect on my name. Yes. Remember the name? Uh, Remember the face. Yeah. <laughs> so, real quick, where is Crypto World located in St. Charles? And how can they get a hold of you so they can write that down real quick? Yeah, so we're located 2788 Mugi Road in St. Charles, Missouri, 63303. And we are right off Cave Springs and 70. So right off the highway, right in front of Home Depot and Target. So uh, hard to miss us. Awesome, awesome. And I am, of course, you know, Bitcoin Ben. And if, if you want to get a hold of me, well, the best way is Google me. Just look me up, you know, Bitcoin Ben. I'm all over the place. And I am the uh, the owner of Calix Solutions, me and my partner, Patrick. And we provide a crypto laptop. It is basically a laptop specifically made for cryptos and your cryptocurrency projects. So if you're getting into cryptos, we highly recommend that you do it safely and you do it securely. Yeah, and, and to add to that, Ben, we just we got our crypto laptop to play around uh, today, and holy cow, we, we we were that's why that's why there was a bit of a delay for me because I was playing around and uh, seeing how secure it was, and it's very secure. So <laughs> so it's definitely uh, something that for every everybody that's getting into crypto. Um, it, it has literally everything on there, all the wallets, the exchanges, um, and it's super secure. So um, come come to Crypto World. We have it here. We can demo it for you. Uh, our team is playing around with it right now just to make sure that uh, we get everything, um, you know, out of it. But uh, we have the, the display and also, you know, we, we have the actual unit here to, for you guys to play with. Yep. Head on over to crypto world and check it out and like he said they'll show it to you they'll show you the laptop and we have pcs and we also ha have apples so 
if, if you're an Apple guy or an Apple girl, whichever, uh, we have whichever one you like, and they're available at Crypto World. Now, if if you cannot make it over to Crypto World, what I want you to do is pick up the telephone. We are local here in St. Louis, Calix Solutions and Crypto World are local, but our telephone number for Calix Solutions is 702-845-8276. Give us a call and we'll walk you through getting your laptop shipped to you. Now, when you call, make sure you heard, make sure that you tell Patrick that you heard, heard it on the Crypto World uh, Weekly Report or whatever you call us. It doesn't matter. That way we know exactly we should give credit to Crypto World. So, there we go, folks. Now, speaking of cryptos, we have more and more legislation coming out and being written pro-crypto now than ever before. In, in fact, Jeff, you were actually telling me about a friend of yours while I was out at your shop. Who are we having on the show? next week yeah so next week we're gonna have taylor burks on the show he's he's favored to win the fourth congressional district for u.s senate uh he's he so he's out of columbia missouri uh super guy he's he's actually a very very uh he's a big fan of crypto and bitcoin if i had to put a scale on his crypto knowledge, zero being nothing, 10 being like an expert. He's like a seven to an eight. Like this guy is just amazing. So it, more people like him need to be elected, uh, you know, in, in DC because it helps with our cause of, you know, getting, getting more um, uh, legislators, senators, house reps involved in this space because it's, it's the new technology that has uh, the same impact, if not greater, than when the internet came. So yeah, Taylor Burks. So we're we're um, uh, slated to have him next week, and he outraised his competitor by almost two to three to one because he accepts crypto as donation. So pretty cool. I know we we donated some crypto to his campaign, and many folks have. And and what what uh, Taylor is uh, realizing is. You know, the, the crypto community is, um, we're not huge, we're getting there. But what we can do, though, is we can convince a lot of voters to vote uh, for the right person. Uh, we're very passionate about this industry. We want to get people involved and we want to get the right people in, in the U.S. Uh, House or also in Senate. So, yeah, that, that's the uh, uh, gentleman that we'll be having on the show. Yeah, and... See, this is the key to mainstream adoption is, is getting legislators, getting lawmakers, getting them educated. And I've noticed that most of the, if, if not all, of the pro-crypto legislators are very pro-freedom also. So, very libertarian, um, very pro-American, um, very pro-freedom oriented people, uh, m m mostly lean in and, uh, and appreciate the value of actual cryptocurrencies. Yeah, you're right. You know, crypto represents a lot of libertarians who, who believe in, you know, sovereign wealth, who believe in, you know, just just bringing power back to the people. Right. So uh, less government control. 
um, you know, and just having the free market really decide on on how things go. But uh, very exciting to have somebody like him on. Uh, and, you know, we, we talked we talked to him. Um, well, I talked to him earlier, too, and he was he was I think I was telling you about this, but, you know, he, he was um, meeting up with hopefully the future uh, um, majority house leader, you know, uh, out of California. And he wants to educate him on on Bitcoin and crypto. So that's a great thing. Having a leader like that uh, representing us. Absolutely. And that's. That's what you all do out at Crypto World. Basically, that's that's really at the heart of what you guys really do is you educate and you also offer, you know, services and all that. But really, you guys are mostly wrapped up in education and pushing the education of cryptos into the mainstream. And yeah, yeah. It, it's kind of a, a interesting story. We, we got a phone call uh, from somebody that originally from St. Louis, but he lives in Florida now. But five years ago, he got into Ethereum and just left it in his wallet. And he bought a lot of Ethereum. Like back then, five years ago, it was probably what ten dollars or, or something like that per. Oh, less than that. Less than that, probably four. Yeah. 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 So he, he called us and he says, "I need you guys to help me uh, walk me through to make sure that I'm doing this right the right way because I have, uh, you know, a significant amount of Ethereum and I just don't want to screw up." And so when he got into it uh, back then, he didn't know what he was doing. He was just, you know, um, like most of us, we were just basically uh, just trying it out. But for him, it was something that he completely forgot about. And then, you know, when Ethereum is hitting three to $4,000, he it, it made him think that, holy cow, I think I have a huge amount and, and enough to where he wants us um, to fl either fly out there or he's going to fly out here to our store. Uh, so, Things like that that we can help out with. We, we help educate here at the store, but we can also do consultation to make sure that you don't have fat fingers or you're, uh, you're not sending your funds to, to uh, you know, some, somebody else that you don't know. Uh, but having that, that security, that comfort, uh, that trust, right? Because we're not going anywhere. We're a brick and mortar store. Um, and I think that's the main difference when you hear things on the internet and the news of rug pulls and scams and so forth, this we're not we're not about that. We're not gonna we're not gonna do that to you because we have uh, rules we have to abide by, right? We have responsibilities. We can't just pick up our store and leave, right? Yeah. We can't just <laughs> people know where we're at. People know where we live, so it's uh, it's out there. So, but but yeah, so we're we're figuring out if how we can help this gentleman. But you know, just interesting things like that that come through our store that we're able to help out with. Yeah, and and that's a great example of, of the security and the, the trust that you guys have earned so far and you continue to earn. It's it, exactly like you said, you know, if, if a few years ago he grabbed I don't know, 4,000 Ethereum for whatever amount. And now he's sitting on 4,000 Ethereum and they're each worth about $3,000. That's $1.2 million. Or actually, no, that's no, it's, 11 it's million. 12, 12 million. Yeah, that's $12 million. Yeah, it's enough um, to fly me over there and help him out, definitely. I get to see Florida. I get to visit you there. Maybe I'll I'll delay it until you get you get to Florida and and uh, you know, or maybe during the conference. I know you're going to the um, I don't know if I can say it the S H I T conference, the S H I T Coin Conference in in Miami. So maybe yeah. it'd be a good time to go out there. Yes, uh, I'm going to that one and also the 
other conference uh, that's also there. It's uh, <coughs> excuse me. It's uh, these these events are just growing like weeds out there, and there's so many of them. And I've I, I've actually been in cryptos for so long that I remember some of the original ones. Like you and I actually, uh, I think we met at one years ago. Yeah, in Las Vegas. I think we, we met at the Litecoin conference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And these, um, these were smaller events, you know, like back in the day. Now there's eight, nine, twelve thousand people at these events. When back in the day there was maybe four hundred people, if we were lucky, maybe five hundred. And it's it's just growing and growing. And not that I'm announcing anything, but you and I have actually talked about maybe co-hosting a local conference here in St. Louis. Oh, absolutely. Some more, sometime uh, Q4 probably is a good time to, to do it here in St. Louis. But yeah, uh, um, the great, great venues. The more you look at me and Gary and my, my other business partner are already looking at uh, um, places that we can have the event, the, the conference. Um, I know in, in Vegas, I was talking to Tone Bays. He, he's going to be at that conference speaking that you're speaking at. Yeah. Uh, so he he's already told me that you know if we do a conference that he'd come to it. Um, and I know you have a lot of uh, great connections too. So I think I think with both of ours connection, we can really bring some big uh, names here to the St. Louis area and have a, a great conference. So excited about doing that. Hopefully we can do that uh, annually and just bring more awareness. You know, I think I think also I can get a few politicians locally to to attend if Taylor or Win Taylor. Burks uh, wins that seat. Um, I think he would attend too. So I think uh, I think that'll be great. But uh, but looking forward to something like that and 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 participating uh, and being a part with you. So yeah, more to come on that. Absolutely, and it's um, as I was explaining earlier. The reason that crypto world has actually gotten as popular as you guys have where like people from florida are calling you people from california you know is that they do want the security of a a trustworthy place you know a name that they can rely on and until you guys, there wasn't much out there, you know, and you guys are really bringing the crypto uh, opportunities to the general public here in St. Louis. And it's such a needed service that people in Florida are reaching out to people, you all here in Missouri saying, hey, help, help, you know? Well, it, it'll be interesting when, when, when you open up uh, your locations out there in Florida, all right? So um, all those baby boomers that, that are gonna need help, uh, glad you're gonna be there to, uh, walk them through everything <laughs> so but, but yeah i mean i think it's great that that uh and we don't we don't pay for marketing dollars right so um no ads or anything uh not saying that we wouldn't do it down the road uh but everything that that we do right now is organic uh people are talking about us uh we're helping other people we're starting um, uh we started a foundation we have our 501c3 status uh so we're, we're going to be doing some even, even bigger things Right. I, I, I know um, uh, one of the things that we talked about is, uh, you know, possibly um, with the foundation raising 
tons of money um, that's already out there and getting people in the inner cities involved with crypto and getting them bankable. So, yes. uh, you know, just for example, like we thought about, you know, buying a bunch of land or a bunch of houses in in St. Louis o over kind of by the Del Mar divide where it's uh, the inner cities yeah. and buying plots of land or, or houses and then fixing up the houses a little bit but then putting families in the houses that, that really need um, the help. And we, we, we would work with the churches to see who really needs it, families that would need it. Um, but then we would put um, minors in the house, right? So it would keep it sustainable. And thinking about maybe seven years of, of, of the family living in that house, can you imagine if we were able to give that house to them for free because the mining yeah. was yeah. able to support it? So things like that, that, you know, may, uh, getting people bankable, um, the biggest issue right now in the inner cities is I think, uh, and, and also with Hispanics and, and so forth, there's millions and millions and millions of people that don't have bank accounts. Well, we can fix that because m all those millions of people have cell phones. Uh, so working yeah. towards that, I think, I think it'd be a win-win because uh, crypto world would be, um, you know, the one that would be supporting it and help executing some of the uh, the miners, the support, the education and so forth. But we're, we're excited to roll that out. And, um, you know, I'm sure you'll be hearing more about that as, as we get going. Yeah. And and, and these these are the opportunities that we are granted in a growing industry. And I think you guys over at Crypto World, you guys have your heads on right and your hearts are in the right place because you're, you're leading with logic and love. And when you use logic and love, you're going to go in the right direction every time because you see a growing industry and you say there is money to be made here but you also at the same time you're remembering the community bring everyone with in cryptocurrencies there's no need to leave out anybody because it's such an in individual technology that all they need is a cell phone and you can educate them into using that as a tool to improve their lives. And just that education will help lift a lot of people out of some iffy, you know, problems or whatever they were raised in, they they realize that, you know, education's a key and crypto, it just may be the uh, the revolution they've been looking for. Yeah, that's I think that you said it best there. And I think you know, we're taking the kind of the similar avenue that El Salvador has taken, right? I think uh, in, in 30 years, it took them it took them 30 years to get 1.4 million people bankable, and then in 30 days, once legal tender for Bitcoin came, they they got 4 million people bankable. So I think with, uh, with 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 Crypto World and also with the the foundation, um, I think we can do a lot of great things. Yes, we can generate revenue. Um, and help out uh, investors and also, you know, um, be, be, be pre, pre, doing pretty well in, in this space. But at the same time, if we can help the, the inner city and, and you know, even uh, go to high schools and talk about it. I'm going next week. I'm going to um, a high school in Wright City. Uh, one, I met a state rep for Missouri. He's a high school teacher. So uh, he invited us to go speak to his his students about crypto. And, um, you know, I, I was a little surprised that the kids in high school 
aren't as uh, knowledgeable in this space because it is their, their future and it is something that's very easily accessible on online and YouTube. But I guess most of those kids are, are on TikTok anyway, so they probably don't uh, get a few minutes to to or an hour or two to really research it. But yeah, I get the opportunity to talk to high school students about the, about Bitcoin uh, and mining and the benefits of it and why it's the the future. Uh, so that that'll be great. It's 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 it'll be good for uh, you know for us to be able to help out those students and you know if we can if we can help out one or two kids along the way. You know that it was all worth it, right? I know we can't change everybody's mind. Um, we can't help out everybody, uh, but we'll find somebody that's that's gonna have an open mind that maybe will tell their parents and th their friends. So, I think it's great. Yeah, and and if you think about it, if if you educate a younger person at that age, let's say like fourteen or fifteen or sixteen, they have a whole life worth of accumulation and savings and and learning and advancing and that age right there that's the age of the next wave of innovation in even cryptocurrencies so exactly like you said that's this is their future they just don't know it yet. And that's okay, though, because uh, you guys over a crypto world, you, you guys ain't going nowhere. But unfortunately, we do have to take a break. So we will be right back with uh, part two of the crypto world crypto recap. We'll be right back, folks. And we're back. Welcome back, everyone, to the Crypto World Weekend Roundup or Report, whatever you want to call us. Just don't call me late for dinner. I'm a Missouri guy. I got to eat on schedule <laughs> or off schedule. Well, really, I just got to eat. I, I love the barbecue mostly. but And I know you're a huge barbecue fan. Oh yeah, barbecue is is uh, it's probably second after uh, after some uh, Asian sushi and stuff like that. But I know you're not a big sushi guy, but no, no, no. I love taste. Um, I love like orange chicken. I yeah. love lo mein, um, yeah. egg rolls, crab rangoons, like my favorite. Oh, those are like little pieces of of delicious low crusty candy oh, <laughs> it's so good so let's jump right back in at crypto world um what do you guys have going on on tuesday and thursday this week yeah, every Tuesday morning, we have a little networking event here at the Crypto World store from 9 a.m. to 11.30. Normally, it goes past then, past 11.30. We're, we're having to, you know, kick everybody out around 12, 12.30 so we can get some work done. But, uh, um, you know, normally at our events, we have a speaker that talks about different topics. Um, you know, so we had, we, we had somebody... Uh, last week that talked about the, our, our foundation. We had somebody talk about, um, you know, some tax strategies for crypto. So anything and everything you can think of in the crypto space, we uh, normally talk about it. On Thursday nights, uh, so this, this Thursday, we have the Metaverse um, event. So we have somebody talking about Metaverse, which is an exciting, exciting uh, uh, field right now. There's, there's people and companies that are buying plots of land for tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in the universe, or, or I'm sorry, in the metaverse, and uh, even renting renting them out. Uh, so I have a friend who own, uh, who's involved in a deal for a piece of digital land for a million dollars. Oh, we got, he's buying um, it or he's... 
He's uh, probably he, is he brokering that deal? Uh, he's kind of brokering it. He works for uh, East Central Land. Yeah, yeah, uh, Anna. yeah, yeah. And and I remember when that project launched. It was no one could really wrap their minds around what they were building. And I know several guys who actually got pieces of land for like a hundred bucks early. And that those plots of land are now worth hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, it's pretty pretty wild. You know, it's it's even as wild as the, the NFT space, right? So but uh all, all still very exciting though. But I I, I challenge folks to uh, you know, come to the events, hear about NFTs, hear about the, the, the metaverse and just see what it's all about, uh, because it is the future. Um, and instead of being left behind, at least, you know, at least partake in a way where you try to understand what it's all about. We had somebody come into the store today. Um, he was probably uh, 29, 30 years old, um, IT guy, but surprisingly didn't really understand much about crypto and uh after talking to him and explaining to him uh just tidbits of it right like you know i i told him i gave him this example and maybe it'll resonate with some folks but uh you know i told him um when we're sending i think i told you this too at a previous show but uh, I, I think it's good to bring up because it, it really made him realize like okay maybe this is something but but when you're sending an email or sending a picture or sending music to somebody, you're normally sending just a copy of that. You're sending a copy of that email, copy of that picture, copy of that video. Uh, never in time could you sell the actual ownership of that email or send, I'm sorry, not sell, but send the ownership of that, that email, that picture. So if I'm sending you a picture um, using the blockchain technology, it's actually going to you digitally, and now you have ownership of it, and I don't. So if you can wrap your brain around that and how that works, and imagine using this technology for every industries, right? It, it's it's what the NFT space is all about, is giving that digital, uh, almost that DNA of that digital uh, NFT and giving it to somebody else as ownership. But uh, uh, anyways, he, he, he left the store literally after he came in, in here for 10 minutes just to look in and to leave. And he was here. He was here for like an hour, just like asking so many questions. And, and, and you know, he ended up buying a wallet because he uh, um, was he said many years ago he got into uh, Ethereum and he, he wanted to take it out from his uh, um, his grandmother's computer that was his and, and put it in a, in a wallet and uh, learn about that process because uh, after speaking with him, he, he was just fascinated, right? So um, it's not just the, the older generation that, that don't understand it. It's it's high school kids. It's kids that even that are 29, 30, they're in the IT space. So I just challenge him just to, to take 30, 45 minutes, an hour, two hours, just to try to understand the reasoning behind this technology and the why aspect, because he thought it was just, you know, technology for transacting, you know, from point A to point B. And it's, it's far from that. Uh, and, and so he's going to go do that, but, uh, but yeah, just exciting things that we're doing at the, the, the store to help educate uh, folks and, and just get them aware of this technology. Yeah, it's, it's, it's such a transition into a new uh, technology, but once you get the gist of it and you grasp the, the larger concept of it, you don't need all the weeds knowledge. You, you know, you don't need it. It's exactly like swiping a re, a regular card, right? You had to learn that, all right, you got this card and it has a magnet strip and you take it 
and you swipe it, and you can buy things with it. Well, you don't have to understand the technology behind the swipe, but you do grasp the ease of use of the card. And once you once you grasp the uh, the idea of cryptos and the ease of use and the ease of exchange and the um, the idea of owning a digital asset, then the technology behind it, unless you plan on teaching it, you don't really need to grasp the the technical, the code, the all of the weeds, you know, behind it. But as with an NFT, how I explain it is is imagine if if I took a picture of me with my phone. Or no, imagine if I took a picture of a hundred dollar bill with my phone and I sent you that picture to your phone. And that picture in your phone was now no longer on my phone, but solely on yours. And then you took that $100 picture and you sent it to someone else's phone and it were moved off of yours and was only on theirs. That's, that's the general gist of an NFT is it's, it's private ownership and receipt of a digital property. And the, uh, the blockchain holds the the in, the information that identifies that graphic and that's what actually marries your public address with your private address and let let me explain the difference between a public address and a private address real quick. Anybody can mail you anything to your house. So that's your public address. What shelf or what desk drawer you put that mail in, in at your house, that's your private address. So if somebody mails you or sends you a transaction to your public address, that's the address of your house. Where that currency like, you know, like Bitcoin or whatever goes inside that public address is like taking a dollar and hiding it in your house somewhere. That's the equivalent of your private address. That's kind of an easy way of explaining how a wallet works is they send you the Bitcoin to your house. Your wallet hides that Bitcoin in your house somewhere. And that long address is your public plus your private address cryptographically 
coded so that they can never really locate your house or where you hide it at in your house. You got you got a great way of dummying down things, Ben. You know that. <laughs> well, that because means I'm a dummy. <laughs> well, I, I didn't want to say that, but you, you're an hey. excellent uh, teacher, right? A, a five year old would understand that. It's it's it, and and I actually thank my grandfather for that. My grandfather used to explain like deep economic. Uh, applications in the simplest way where an 11 year old hanging drywall would would grasp and that's how I learned how to explain really complicated ideas in a way that anybody can really grasp it and, and that's why people watch my show yeah, I think uh, it really resonates here at uh, Crypto World because that's what I tell my team when they're explaining things. Just, you know, pretend like they're five-year-olds and they have no clue. Uh, so what analogies would you use for them to be able to understand? So, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a great way of, of uh, explaining it. Um, I wanted to ask you, you know, I, I saw that uh, you or somebody on your team um was going down to El Salvador um, yeah. and I didn't know uh you know I I heard that they were trying to pass a uh, a Bitcoin bond um mining bond for a, a billion a billion dollars and yep. from what I hear they oversold it to 1.5 billion dollars there were so many people that wanted a, a piece of this that they that it had been oversold um yes. so Wanted, I wanted to see if there's any other news from that and from, from the visit. Yeah. Um, uh, I own another company uh, that uh, we run a, uh, a, a cryptocurrency venture capital fund. And we, uh, we also run a website that invests in cryptocurrency uh, uh, projects at the seed round of investment. And we actually rented an office. We officially have it now uh, in El Salvador. So uh, me and my team are going to have an office in El Salvador right near uh, the hub of where this is all like going on. And uh, there's a lot of investment. There's a lot of opportunity down there. Uh, we actually want to open up a crypto world inside the office area that we rented down there. Uh, so we can officially say we have the first ever crypto world location outside of America. Oh, and great. so that is actually something you and I are, uh, you and I are going to have to fly to El Salvador and uh, you and your team could help us, you know, bring in inventory and how you want it set up in line with your uh, corporate norms and and all that good stuff. Yeah, I think that I think it's exciting. Um, to add on to the international aspect, on uh, April fifth, we have five Korean companies that are flying from South Korea um, to visit uh, Crypto World. Three out of the five are in the crypto space. They're blockchain, um, you know, companies that that uh, uh, are going to visit. They're going to talk for a few minutes. Each one is going to talk for 15 minutes about what they're doing in Korea, uh, South Korea, 
and, you know, just talk about their company. So it, it's cool that, you know, that we're getting um, some international folks uh, coming to crypto world to, uh, to and, and they're hearing about what we're doing. They love what we're doing. They would love to open one up in South Korea also. But but uh, you may uh, come to that event April uh, April fifth during our crypto over coffee, um, and with with uh, um, South Korea they're doing a lot of things over there with their new they president are. who's who's very pro crypto. Uh, so exciting that there is going to be uh, a competitive nature in this space where you know you have El Salvador um, and you're probably going to have other um, you know countries like Mexico change their legal tender to Bitcoin because they're seeing what's going on, all the investments that are going on in El Salvador. Nobody knew who El Salvador was before this, right? I mean, yeah. I would say 98% of the people in the world probably didn't even know there was a country called El Salvador. It's, you know, they're probably thinking it's a city or, you know, somewhere in South America, but uh, they're really making a name for themselves. And a lot of, uh, you know, South America, Central America and the rest of the world is, is really seeing uh, what they're doing. And I, I think it's great because now, you know, other nations getting involved, the U.S. is going to have to really wake up. And, and if they want to be the dominant uh, country in this space and this technology, then we need to pass some uh, fair and, uh, you know, some legislation that that's pro crypto, pro Bitcoin. But yeah, that, it's exciting stuff going on here. And if you guys are free, listening on the radio or on youtube or wherever you're at um tuesday april 5th stop by the store from 9 a.m to 11 just to be able to hear from some of these uh, uh, uh korean companies that are uh, you know heavily invested in this space yeah and and as for el salv el salvador it's uh Another reason I actually want to get you down there is, is where our office is located is going to be the hub of like the blockchain slash you know, Bitcoin uh, environment. That's where the casino, that's where the resort's going, that's where... And our office is right in the middle. So that's why we hurried up and was like, oh, okay, we know where this is all going to grow up at. So let's actually get an office right in the middle early before anyone else, you know, jumps in there. That way, as, as this all grows, it grows around us where all of the crypto people who are there working and, you know, uh, growing and, and, and the, the government recognizes that, you know, my company, my show, Crypto World, and that that we're all there too. And, and uh, we have relationships uh, already established all the way up to the president of El Salvador. So you and I traveling down there, we could probably get a... Uh, a meeting with a few government officials and explain what we're doing there. You know, what is crypto world and, and, and why are we launching our venture capital fund there? And, and, uh, there's a lot of, um, uh, there's a lot of property down there that has been, left uh, unattended hmm. that the government is willing to literally give away on the beach. Yeah, I was going to uh, say, I want the first beachfront property, right? So I, it, it'd be nice to have a, uh, 
a, a winter home, I guess. I don't know what the what the seasons are like out there, but I'm a beach person, right? So I don't know if you've ever gotten a chance to go to uh, Cartagena, Colombia, uh, before. No. But um, oh my gosh, I went there for a uh, a bachelor bachelorette party, and it was it was heaven. So from what I hear, the waters are very similar. So yeah, uh, so to be you know one of the first ones to get into that market, you know, it's it's uh, definitely um opportunity is endless right so i'm glad you guys are are, are there and kind of uh, scouting it out and and meeting some some great people uh because i'd love to go to to south south america or they're in central america right or are they south america El Salvador. Uh, good question we'll have to pull up the globe <laughs> they're right in the middle i guess it'd be like south central yeah you know, it? <laughs> yeah it's um, but having a crypto world along with our office there as this area grows, and like I said, they um, I've already looked at two hotels that were abandoned. Uh, they were actually built and abandoned. Um, that are on the beach. They each have uh, 200 yards of, I mean, beautiful white sandy beachfront. And the hotel is there. It just needs remodeled. And there's... Um, there's opportunities for the right people and the right companies and the right relationships to actually get those those lands either sold to us extremely cheap or even leased to us for a hundred year lease for a dollar. Wow. Is, is it true that their capital gains there for crypto is... It's non-existent non-existence so yeah, yeah they're they're doing some some really great things similar to i i think portugal is another country that's uh, very friendly for uh for crypto so a lot a lot of these countries and 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 you know presidents and government officials are seeing the opportunity and taking advantage of it right so one yep. way to bring people there is you know some incentives that uh, will bring people to their country and and El Salvador, holy cow, they, they're definitely doing some great things. Absolutely. And this, folks, this is why we want you to swing over to Crypto World out in St. Charles. This is why we want you to actually pick up, while you're at Crypto World, your very own crypto-only laptop from Calix Solutions. Because... This is the future of, of the world. Cash, money. This is, this is the, I, I hate to say once in a lifetime, but really once in a species opportunity of, because we've never had this digital property in such a way that you can own it and 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 reap the rewards of early adoption so we got to wrap this up j wade crypto thank you once again for a great hour uh and yeah we'll see you next week Absolutely. Everybody, this has been Bitcoin Ben, me, and J. Wade Crypto, him, with the Crypto World Weekend Roundup, or report, whichever. <laughs> Love you guys. Ciao. See you next week. Did you know you can sit down one-to-one -one with me or one of our other experts at Crypto World to get your questions answered? Visit ShopCryptoWorld.com to schedule your consultation today.